Joseph Moses Urin was a Romanian-born American engineer and management consultant. He was an evangelist for quality and quality management, having written several books on those subjects. He was the brother of Academy Award winner Nathan H. Urin. Early life, Urin was born in Bra Florinila, Romania, one of the six children born to a Jewish couple, Jacob and Jidl Urin. They later lived in Gura Humoru Louis. He had three sisters, Rebecca, Maneva, who earned a doctoral degree and had a career in education, and Charlotte. He had two brothers, Nathan H. Urin and Rudolf, known as Rudy. Rudy founded a municipal bond company in 1912. He emigrated to America with his family, settling in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Urin excelled in school, especially in mathematics. He was a chess champion at an early age, and dominated chess at Western Electric. Urin graduated from Minneapolis South High School in 1920. In 1924, with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the University of Minnesota, Urin joined Western Electric's Hawthorne Works. His first job was troubleshooting in the complaint department. In 1925, Bell Labs proposed that Hawthorne Works personnel be trained in its newly developed statistical sampling and control chart techniques. Urin was chosen to join the Inspection Statistical Department, a small group of engineers charged with applying and disseminating Bell Labs statistical quality control innovations. This highly visible position fueled Urin's rapid ascent in the organization and the course of his later career. Personal life In 1926, he married Sadie Shapiro. Joseph and Sadie met in 1924 when his sister Betty moved to Chicago and he and Sadie met her, on the train. In his autobiography he wrote of meeting Sadie there and then I was smitten and have remained so ever since. They were engaged in 1925 on Joseph's 21st birthday. Fifteen months later they were married. They had been married for nearly 82 years when he died in 2008. Joseph and Sadie raised four children Robert, Sylvia, Charles, and Donald. Robert was an award-winning newspaper editor, and Sylvia earned a doctorate in Russian literature. Department Chief Urin was promoted to Department Chief in 1928, and the following year became a Division Chief. He published his first quality-related article in Mechanical Engineering in 1935. In 1937, he moved to Western Electric AT&T's headquarters in New York City, where he held the position of Chief Industrial Engineer. As a hedge against the uncertainties of the Great Depression, he enrolled in Loyola University Chicago School of Law in 1931. He graduated in 1935 and was admitted to the Illinois Bar in 1936, though he never practiced law. During the Second World War, through an arrangement with his employer, Urin served in the Lend-Lease Administration and Foreign Economic Administration. Just before war's end, he resigned from Western Electric, and his government post, intending to become a freelance consultant. He soon joined the faculty of New York University as an adjunct professor in the Department of Industrial Engineering, where he taught courses in quality control and ran roundtable seminars for executives. He also worked through a small management consulting firm on projects for Gillette, Hamilton Watch Company and Borg Warner. After the firm's owner's sudden death, Urin began his own independent practice, from which he made a comfortable living until his retirement in the late 1990s. His early clients included the now-defunct Bigelow Sanford Carpet Company, the Coppers Company, the International Latex Company, Bausch & Lomb and General Foods. Japan. The end of World War II compelled Japan to change its focus from becoming a military power to becoming an economic one. Despite Japan's ability to compete on price, its consumer goods manufacturers suffered from a long-established reputation of poor quality. The first edition of Urin's Quality Control Handbook in 1951 attracted the attention of the Japanese Union of Scientists and Engineers, which invited him to Japan in 1952. When he finally arrived in Japan in 1954, Urin met with ten manufacturing companies, notably Showa Denko, Nippon Kagaku, Noritake, and Takeda Pharmaceutical Company. He also lectured at Hakon, Waseda University, OESAKA, and Kaiyasan. 
During his life, he made ten visits to Japan, the last in 1990. Working independently of W. Edwards Deming, Yurena Euro, who focused on managing for quality Euro went to Japan and started courses in quality management. The training started with top and middle management. The idea that top and middle management needed training had found resistance in the United States. For Japan, it would take some 20 years for the training to pay off. In the 1970s, Japanese products began to be seen as the leaders in quality. This sparked a crisis in the United States due to quality issues in the 1980s. Contributions equals para to principle equals in 1941, Euron stumbled across the work of Alfredo Paratu and began to apply the Paratu principle to quality issues. This is also known as the vital few and the trivial many. In later years, Euron preferred the vital few and the useful many to signal the remaining 80% of the causes should not be totally ignored. Equals management theory equals, when he began his career in the 1920s, the principal focus in quality management was on the quality of the end, or finished, product. The tools used were from the Bell system of acceptance sampling, inspection plans, and control charts. The ideas of Frederick Winslow Taylor dominated. Euron is widely credited for adding the human dimension to quality management. He pushed for the education and training of managers. For Euron, human relations problems were the ones to isolate and resistance to change was the root cause of quality issues. Euron credits Margaret Mead's book Cultural Patterns and Technical Change for illuminating the core problem and reforming business quality. He wrote Managerial Breakthrough, which was published in 1964, outlining the issue. Euron's concept of quality management extended outside the walls of the factory to encompass non-manufacturing processes, especially those that might be thought of as service-related. For example, in an interview published in 1997 he observed, The key issues facing managers in sales are no different than those faced by managers in other disciplines. Sales managers say they face problems such as it takes us too long. We need to reduce the error rate. They want to know, how do customers perceive us? These issues are no different than those facing managers trying to improve in other fields. The systematic approaches to improvement are identical. There should be no reason our familiar principles of quality and process engineering would not work in the sales process. Equals the Euron Trilogy equals, Euron was one of the first to write about the cost of poor quality. This was illustrated by his Euron Trilogy, an approach to cross-functional management, which is composed of three managerial processes, quality planning, quality control, and quality improvement. Without change, there will be a constant waste. During change there will be increased costs, but after the improvement, margins will be higher and the increased costs get recouped. Equals transferring quality knowledge between East and West equals, during his 1966 visit to Japan, Yuren learned about the Japanese concept of quality circles, which he enthusiastically evangelized in the West. Yuren also acted as a matchmaker between U.S. and Japanese companies looking for introductions to each other. Euron Institute. Euron founded the Euron Institute in 1979. The Institute is an international training, certification, and consulting company which provides training and consulting services in quality management, lean manufacturing management, and business process management, as well as Six Sigma certification. The Institute is based in Southbury, Connecticut. Retirement Euron was active well into his 80s and only gave up international travel at age 86. He retired at the age of 90 but still gave interviews. His activities during the second half of his life include, consulting for U.S. companies such as Armour & Company, Denison Manufacturing Company, Merck, Sharp & Dogham, Otis Elevator Company, Xerox, and the United States Navy Fleet Ballistic Missile System. Consulting for Western European and Japanese companies, such as Rolls-Royce Motors, Philips, Volkswagen, Royal Dutch Shell and Toyota Motor Company, pro bono consulting for Soviet bloc countries, founding the Euron Institute and the Euron Foundation. Later life and death, he started to write his memoirs at 92, 
which were published two months before he celebrated his 99th birthday. He gave two interviews at 94 and 97. In 2004, he turned 100 years old and was awarded an honorary doctorate from Luleåen University of Technology in Sweden. A special event was held in May to mark his 100th birthday. He and Sadie celebrated their 81st wedding anniversary in June 2007. They were both at the age of 102 at the time of the event. Euron died of a stroke on February 28, 2008, at the age of 103 in Rye, New York. He was active on his 103rd birthday and was caring for himself and Sadie who was in poor health when he died. Sadie died on December 2, 2008, at the age of 103 years. They were survived by their four children, nine grandchildren and ten great-grandchildren. Euron left a book that was 37% complete, which he began at age 98. See also, Quality by Design. Bibliography, Euron cites the following as his most influential works. Equals Books Equals. Quality Control Handbook, New York, New York, McGraw-Hill, 1951, OCLC 1,220,529, eventually published in six editions, second edition, 1962, third edition, 1974, fourth edition, 1988, fifth edition, 1999, sixth edition, 2010, managerial breakthrough, New York, New York, McGraw-Hill, 1964, management of quality control, New York, New York, Joseph M. Euron, 1967, OCLC 66,818,686, Quality Planning and Analysis, New York, New York, McGraw-Hill. 1970, Upper Management and Quality, New York, New York, Joseph M. Euron, 1980, OCLC 8,103,276, Euron on Planning for Quality, New York, New York, The Free Press, 1988, OCLC 16,468,905. Equals published papers equals Directions for ASQC, Industrial Quality Control, November 1951, Universals in Management Planning and Control, Management Review, November 1954, 748 to Euro 761, Improving the Relationship Between Staff and Line, Personnel, May 1956, Industrial Diagnostics, Management Review, June 1957, Operator Arosa Euro Time for a New Look, ASQC Journal, February 1968, The QC Circle Phenomenon, Industrial Quality Control, January 1967, Mobilizing for the 1970s, Quality Progress, August 1969, Consumerism and Product Quality, Quality Progress, July 1970, and One Makes. 50, Quality Progress, March 1975, the non paratu principle, May Culpa, Quality Progress, May 1975, Khrushchev's Venture into Quality Improvement, Quality Progress, January 1976, Japanese and Western Qualitia Euro a Contrast, Quality Progress, December 1978. Equals and Japanese equals. Planning and Practices in Quality Control, Japanese Union of Scientists and Engineers, 1956. A collection of Euron's 1954 lectures, Lectures in Quality Control, 1956, Lectures in General Management, 1960. References External links, the Euron Institute's official website, list of people with the longest marriages.